Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be your July reading. Let's jump right into it without further ado. So Taurus, what can Taurus expect to happen this July? What can Taurus expect to happen in July 2020? Okay. Let's see. Mm, nice. Wow. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have five of wands. Five of wands here would represent um, sometimes battling something, sometimes it is about competition. So it all depends on your current circumstances. For example, you are applying for a job, right? Especially after a crisis that just happened. Um, it's kind of hard, you know, to find a job currently. So with 501s, it could be going to interviews, a lot of hectic energy, you know, going to interviews, maybe dealing with competition, having to face competition, right? But 501s is also a card of inner conflict where you want to maybe do something, but you're doubting yourself or you're doubting uh, maybe the other person or you're doubting the situation. Uh, it could be that as well. But also 501s, honestly, I like this card because 501s, once is a card of passion, fire, hectic energy. A lot is happening. It could be a very hectic month for you guys, especially if you've been in some sort of stagnation, if you've been waiting for something, this could be good. You know, this could speed up events. So the first card we have here, and mind you, we have three cards here for the month of July. And two of them are major arcanas, meaning that most likely this could be a pretty significant month for you. So we've got the Fool. The Fool is that first card in Major Arcana's in Tarot, right? This is how the story starts. Uh, this is that new beginning where everything begins. So in order to begin this, right, you may have to get some kind of closure or you may have to complete something before you get to this new beginning. So my assumption is that by the end of June, you have completed something. You are about to complete something maybe. It's in the process so that you can have this new beginning. And the Fool is a pretty major card, I believe. You know, this isn't just about uh, a very small mm, situation that's not significant completing. It's something big. You know, it's a major arcana. It does signify something important here. So why is the Fool here? What's this new beginning all about? Oh, ooh, okay. So the Magician and Ace of Cups maybe suggest a love of some kind. Because, uh, you know, Ace of Cups is definitely emotions. This is new emotions. This is something that uh, maybe you haven't felt in a while. Uh, you know, maybe somebody could tell you that they are I don't know, in love with you, right? Ace of Cups, and it's like a lot of emotions, a lot of positive emotions, and uh, this is where kind of a new chapter starts, right? Um, this could be also some positive news that you're going to receive. Again, unexpected, something that will bring your emotions to the surface, but good ones. Again, Ace of Cups is overwhelming emotions, strong emotions, but it's usually on the positive side, you know, especially in this card, it's very uh, beautiful, you know, it definitely suggests just positive, warm emotions coming to the surface. And with the magician, it could be something that you have worked on in the past, something that you really, and again, you know, Ace of Cups is also a new beginning, a new beginning on the emotional level. You have two, cup, two cards of new beginnings here, guys. And uh, with the magician, it could be that you've done the work, You've done, you've put effort, you've put, you've used all the opportunities that you had to manifest this, to attract this into your life. This could be also that you had to depend only on yourself, only on your skills, only on uh, your, basically, yeah, like I said, yourself to manifest this, but it seems like it's working out in your favor. I just checked what else the cards could show me, we've got the heart. And so again, you know, if it's um, love life, new beginning, new stage in your love life, um, you know, the Hierophant is a card of marriage and very serious commitments, very long-term commitments where people are dedicated to each other. It could be a chapter that's starting with that, right? If you're single, you're not looking, you don't really care for love, this is some really incredible news coming your way in the beginning of the month. And remember, we also have Eclipse on July 5th, the lunar eclipse. So something is completing, right? A chapter is completing and we're entering something new here. It is a month of shifts. It is a month of something important uh, starting for you. Completing, obviously, and starting. 
wow wow that's incredible for those of you also that maybe, again, are not interested in love life, maybe are interested in career, it could be a completely new path that may open itself up to you, like a new window, new door, <laughs> that's going to open itself up uh, in front of you in the beginning of the month. And this is something that you wanted, this is something that you've been manifesting, and this is something that you may want to consider, uh, because it looks really good, okay? Now, the next card we have here is Justice. Now, Justice, a lot of times, would be legal stuff. Legal cases, uh, anything really that's connected to legalities, okay, that you've been involved in, possibly. And it could be that the Fool is connected to this Justice card, you know, it could be a new beginning. Possibly once legalities are finished and over with, maybe you no longer have to go to court, maybe you no longer have to prepare some kind of paperwork, right? Uh, it's done and over with. But also justice here is about uh, balancing out that karmic scale. It could be a karmic month, guys. A karmic change could happen here. So why is justice here? Either way, accepting this new beginning, accepting, wow, wow, accepting this new beginning, um, allowing yourself to start a new story, if that makes sense, you are balancing out the scale somehow, you're balancing out your life somehow. We do have two pages here, page of wands, page of cups with queen of wands. Queen of wands, by the way, could be you here, even though it is a fire sign, and it could be that, of course, fire sign is going to be very, very yeah, predominant for you, very important for you um, in the month of July. And I've also noticed that uh, Queen of Wands comes up for assistance, helpers, friends, a lot of times, you know, but of course it could also be a romantic partner. Uh, but I believe the Queen of Wands here is your energy. Uh, this is about charging forward, this is about being fearless and uh, uh, setting goals, achieving them. And again, remember that Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck, it's like fiery energy, a lot happening, it's hectic, a lot going on, and yes, maybe you may face competition, yes, maybe you may face some conflicts, but it's okay, you know, it's life. But you're moving for you're charging forward, I should say, into some kind of new ideas, new opportunities, uh, new doors, new horizons. Pages are messengers, right? So again, there could be a month of news. You could receive some very pleasant uh, news, again, maybe regarding something legal. Maybe uh, it could be news that will bring balance into your life generally, you know, regardless of what it is. If you have children, it could be a lot revolving around your children. Maybe something completing, some positive news coming. But it's also, you know, these are not just messengers. These are also opportunities. Opportunities, creative. Uh, creative ones, you know, maybe uh, something where you're going to gain enthusiasm and uh, desire to work on this and, you know, uh, study something, learn something new. Page of Cups, they're pleasant for you emotionally. So whether it's news or opportunities coming your way, I would take them, guys, because Justice is a karmic card. And uh, when karma is good, it, when it's smiling at us and it's offering us something else, something new, we, of course, have a choice, we have free will whether or not to take it, but I would say take it because it's good for you karmically, it's good for you for your emotional level, it's good for you when it comes down to your future goals, it could add to it, it could improve something for your future, and it's also like you don't want to say no to karma, really, you, you don't want to. And these opportunities in July will still be, I want to say, green. Uh, in what way? Pages are young, they're children, right? So they need time to grow and develop. These are just going to be glimpses of something in July, um, something new, these new opportunities that you want to grab and then you want to go with them, right? You want to see what they can bring. But don't deny them just because they seem to be on the smaller scale. You know what I mean? Don't deny them because they're not huge, they're not aces, right? Um, Little by little, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to understand how well these are growing and benefiting you. I cannot really give you an example, like a life example, what exactly this could be. For example, somebody will maybe offer you to collaborate with them, you know, and you may find that 
well, maybe you would be better off on your own. Why should you collaborate? What are you gonna gain from it? No, take it, because that's how you're going to grow and that's how uh, you will benefit from it down the line. You know, you will see the results of it down the line. Maybe this could be some uh, opportunities to learn something, to study, maybe a course can come your way, you know, which is a very like minor uh, situation. Don't deny it, go for it, study it, learn. Uh, you kind of want it for your overall knowledge anyway, general knowledge, you know what I mean? But it's also could be something that will help you maybe in your career down the line. And if you don't study this course now, you will never know, right? You will never be able to apply this knowledge in your career. That's kind of what I'm hinting at, you know? I think these are the opportunities that might be coming your way. And the last card is Six of Swords, so a shift. For those of you that were not able to travel before, now you can finally travel. For those of you that maybe uh, needed to make a move, like an actual move, uh, from one state to another, you know, one country to another, here you go. Six of Swords also suggests a shift, a move, a physical move. But it's also about emotional and mental shift, where you're leaving something behind. You're leaving an old ch chapter behind and you're moving towards something new, something refreshing, you know, new horizons that you've never been to, possibly. But you're curious to see what they bring. You're curious to see how your life can uh, change, you know, if you do accept these new beginnings. So it's definitely about trying something new, I think. Uh, charging forward, being fearless, like I said, setting goals using the opportunities that are presented to you, finishing something up, balancing something out, possibly, again, maybe finishing up some legalities that were a burden before. It's starting a new chapter completely. Why is Six of Swords here? And again, you know, uh, a lunar eclipse on the 5th, 5th of July, can really, really uh, help you here. Yeah, definitely, moving on, oh, wow. It's like I'm saying words and the cards are showing me the images of what I'm saying, what I'm about to say. It's <laughs> impressive. So uh, with eight of wands here, you are moving, you're shifting. Eight of wands is a lot of fast energy. It's a fast paced type of thing. Uh, it's either information coming your way, new connections, uh, maybe networking, you know, or maybe it's uh, your shift, how fast it's developing, all these new things coming into your life, okay? Accept them, take them, keep them, uh, respect them. You know, this is all done for a better future here. This is like you preparing foundation for something big, for something completely new that you've never dealt with before. You are completely detaching from the past here, from something that's empty, from something that's no longer serving you. You're leaving it in the past, Ten of Swords. You're done. This shift could, of course, be happening on the physical level. For example, you will move. Uh, it could be maybe that you needed to take a trip, you will, you will take that trip, you will travel somewhere, right? But on the emotional, mental level, it seems like you are closing a very dark chapter in your life. You're ready to move on from it, you no longer want to deal with it, it's done, it's over with, it only used to bring pain. And here you go with the chariot. <laughs> You're moving forward with confidence, with success. It is a card of victory. You're able to, and again, Going back to the bottom, five of wands, it's battling, right? It's fighting for something, maybe fighting for something that you believe in. It's having to engage in all these different situations, but you understand that it's going to bring you a positive result later on. And here it is, you are, you are victorious here. You won, basically. That's what I would say. In the month of July, you are going to win. Very impressive, considering I'm also a Taurus. I would like to see how it plays out. <laughs> but yeah, guys, very great. Leaving something dark behind, um, appreciating the shift, taking the opportunities, like I said, balancing everything out, uh, being victorious. And if it's hard for you now, if it's very challenging for you now, don't worry, because things will even out. The scales are going to even out. Um, in July, okay, especially by the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.